Hello there and welcome to some Crusader Kings 3 of the Shogunate's mod. This mod allows us to play in feudal Japan, all the way up until I believe the 16th century. We'll be starting in the year of 1534, during the Day of the Fathers timestamp. There's, I think, 10 timestamps in this mod. It's very rich in content, lots of replayability, and the mod makers want to go very, very in-depth, adding many historically accurate characters. There's many historically accurate clans here already. You have the Auchi, you have the uh, Uazegi, you have the Date. We have been playing as Shogunate Gon Dai Nagon Ashikaga Yoshiharu of the Ashikaga clan. He is a rational antagonist. He's uh, patient, vengeful, gregarious of Shinto faith and uh, Naga Kenai. The plan of this campaign is to unite the Shogunates under our control. This will be a succession series. I'm going to be playing this with other YouTubers. I will be starting off as his character and playing through his life, which should be a good amount of content. He is only 23. And then once I die, I'll be passing on the save file to another YouTuber. That is not, sir. We don't have the list entirely just yet, but it's going to be good. I'll uh, let you know closer to the time who is going to be next. There will have be a playlist down in the uh, description there, so you can simply go to the playlist. And the next video will be in there from whomever makes it. Anyway, let's get started. We're going to be playing in as Shogun Gondai Negon Ashikaga. Let's get straight to it. So here we are. We are charismatic negotiator of the Ashikaga family. We are an architect and the Juice Army. We start off here moderately strong with some very, uh, very good Boshu here. Boshu, uh, is is it the same as Samurai or is Samurai a totally different thing? Either way, these are our legendary swordsmen of the realm. We do, however, want to have a bit more. I would like some mangonels, but we can't quite afford it just yet. Let's have a look at our... Uh, that's not what I want to click on. Well, let's have a look at our lifestyle here. So we are going with diplomacy, and I do want to go down this line here. I want to go for as much diplomacy and prestige as possible, so I might just go with the prestige one here. I would like to get up to Force Vassage, that would help me out quite a lot with all of these King Tier titles laying around, although the Auchi are currently my allies. We're allies to them through our brother's wife, good for them. I also do have a, if I can find myself, I do have a daughter, she's my current heir. We are under partition succession but we only have one title anyway so if I were to have a son or two sons the realm isn't going to be split too much so we are going to look for a wife and what I do want to gain here is prestige I don't really care for an alliance so much but there is the uh, family here they seem to be giving me the most she's an evil black guard I'm not entirely sure what a black guard is but I know what evil is evil is not good there is a uh, Tokiwa here giving me alliance for these people over here I don't want to trap myself into alliances so you might just go with her. She is the same age as me, and it will give me a lot of prestige. She's from the house Yamato. Yamato, of course, being the biggest, the most largest battleship ever to sail the seas during World War II for Japan. House Yamato is down here, right on our border. We can't offer vassalage to them, but there will be a few people who we can offer vassalage to. So that is one of the reasons I do want to go diplomatic, because there's a lot of very small nations on our border. We are also the highest tier here, so that gives us a lot more likelihood to um, vassalize these people. So we are going to go through them. There's a fair few now. It looks like this might be a bit overpowered at first, but not everyone is going to accept vassalage. There's foreign cultures and such, and there's higher tiers. But most of the uh, lower tier lords of the same culture as us should join our realm through offering vassalage. But that's to be expected. We are a very, very powerful man in the region. We can also take a concubine. I don't want to have it until I do have an heir of pure blood. The Imperial family of Yamato. They uh, should give me that blood. Didn't they say that my uh, future wife would be Imperial? So I'm not sure. We'll come back to that. But now let's uh, let's unpause the game. And let's see exactly how far we can get. I do have quite a family. We have 12 living members. So that's uh, that's a great start. Yes, different cultures in my family. Hopefully these guys do uh, do very well. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. Hopefully I can get enough good strength here and some good opinion with people so we don't get any sort of independence factions or something like that. Because that would really uh, screw over the uh, next player. Suzuka. What a cool name. Excellent. Well, hopefully we can keep gaining uh, small lesser lords around the realm here. See... 
Most of these guys that were on a border have joined as I predicted. I'm sure a few more around this region, this region will as well. Maybe even over here, but I'm not too sure we'll be going very far. We actually seem to have uh, reached the limit there, so we'll have to... Uh... Oh, there's five more names who can be fast lies. We'll, we'll uh, keep going through some of these guys and trying to gain money. Because we do want money, of course. Now, if I were to try and take over a kingdom like you, there is these your counties, or there is duchies. Now, duchies can take a lot of prestige, so I can't do so many of them. So I do want to try and gain as many of these other realms as I can. We do have kingdom tiers underneath us, though, two that I know of. There is the region over here of the Hosokawa. And then there is the... Uh, I'm sure there was another guy. Yeah, right there. This man here. Also Hoshikawa. So two Hoshikawas. And I can't see one while I have the other one selected. So that's, uh, that's interesting. They're a very powerful house. And they are also allied to our relatives. They will hopefully not be a big issue. But together they do have more men than I do. So we do want to try and keep them on our side. Especially you. You're not on my side. Let's see what we can do. Anyway, we do have a cancel here. Looks like uh, we have the best peel for the jobs. Is there a way I could get one of these other chaps on there? You are actually better than him, so let's go ahead and replace this man. Anybody better than a 9? There is not. So we're just going to leave you there. You're very good, so we won't mess with you. And then there's you with a 12. I could replace you with a 15. I believe I will do that. That's enough of a difference. I will uh, simply give you the job. You're also taller, which uh, goes a long way into uh, affecting your prestige. Uh, anyone else who can be? No, we are currently uh, there for now, so hopefully these guys continue to give us good strength. Oh, of course, there was these other chaps to come through. Excellent. Let's see who has not joined us straight away. Have I got my wife as well? I have. I have the Yamato Tomato. Is That does look like a card over tomato. More like an orange, but oh well. They have a fabled bloodline. Very, very prestigious people. Are you in my court? No, but the uh, the man here, the man in charge. You are the man in charge? You have one title? Oh, are you... You're not even that guy. You're a different Yamato, anyway. I can't declare war on him. Why? Why is there no way... Because he's... He is my vassal. Okay, great. I'm glad that the Yamatos did decide to join us. I'm very, very glad of that. This man here has given us a bit of border gore, and he will not accept a vassalization. We could try and take an entire duchy off him. That is a lot of land. He, however, is quite strong, so we don't want to go through anything like that just yet. I do, however, want some Magnus. So let's go ahead and hire these right here. Help us siege through our enemies a lot faster. Going to speed up the game a bit here, and hope that we can uh, do well. It's uh, not even been a year into the campaign yet, but we've already gained a lot of land. Unfortunately, not any for my personal domains. Now, is there anything I could grow around here? No. I don't think I even have the duchy title. Easy over here, but uh, it's fine. We can rely on other people for our strength. I would much rather... Uh, can I click on this? I would like to develop this building here and get me a few more levy personally. As well, of course, as getting a lot of traps there. Now, we can get a lot of light footmen and anything else. I just... Uh, military power for an independence. There is an independence faction. It is this guy right here. So we should keep our eyes on him. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about a tawny hosted by my wife. All of my busho cheer as Shogun Tami Hemiyomiya announces the tournament in their honour. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch... I am not going to spend the entire 20 days stuck to the throne, however. Yeah, let's, let's gain some prestige. Prestige is very much needed. So I do need to watch how many troops I do lose here, because these guys could create an independence faction and screw us over quite strongly. So uh, let's increase our mangonels, which will go absolutely no way at all in affecting that. A lot of light footmen would, because it would uh, change the strength level there a fair bit. Anybody else who could join me? Yeah, three more vassals could be... Uh, taken, so we'll go ahead and do just that. Gain a bit of extra strength for our neighbours. Looks like we are expanding in this direction. Yes, that was another guy in that direction. And it looks like somebody else over this way somewhere. I'm not, it might have been you. Well, I don't recognise you from being there. And again, another three. We'll go ahead and do just that again, because we do want to create these showing us. If we can do it through peaceful means, why shouldn't we? 
Yeah, it looks like uh, the entire island here might be ours soon enough. Looks like we've uh, snaked around here instead. Social manipulation. The first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought. But my vassal, a dynamo nobum Ichi, has grown bolder. His challenge is no longer passed the notice among my vassals. He is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Possible outcomes. There's many different things there. Common is graceful. Uh, no. Let's, um... He shall have tasks which are impossible to complete. Yes, let's go ahead with that. See if that is, uh... Actually, we have gained a manipulation hook on the Dynamo here. Uh, when Dynamo Nobamichi tried to complete his task thoroughly, I scolded him in front of everyone. And when he hurried to get done in time, I displayed his sloppy work for all to see. He bent himself backwards to please me, yet I never acknowledged his efforts. Now he remains quiet, eyes cast slow. Cruel, perhaps, but it had to be done. We have gained a weak hook on this man right here. The man Yamana. We could modify his feudal contract here to give us a few more levy. It would give us a fair few as well. We will use a hook to do just that. An extra 100 men bow and scrape. That's, <laughs> that's what you have to learn, good man. You must bow and scrape before your betters. We are the Lord in charge here and you will acknowledge it. Anybody else we can get here? Yeah, we can vassalize this man. Not sure whom he is. Yeah, he's over in this direction. Okay, great. Yeah, it was this guy on the border. So the people over here really are up for it, but the people in this direction not so much. Let's have a look at the culture. Shikoku. The Shikoku are much more open to us than the uh, Chubu or the Nishi Hokoruku. Is there somebody else? No, it's uh, something completely different. So I can designate a guardian for... Looks like my daughter. Also, my glory is widely known. I am now distinguished. Good for me. My daughter is six. We'll give her an education in diplomacy. And we'll assign her a guardian. I'll assign myself. Or is there somebody else I could choose who might be a bit better for diplomacy? No, it looks like I am the best man. So we'll go ahead and do it ourselves. She could use a future spouse, but we won't be doing that just yet. My wife, will you please give me a child? I would greatly appreciate a son. A glorious, glorious sun. Let's go ahead and improve this again, because I do want a lot of mangonels. Mangonels to help with the sieges will be great. 4,500. He does have a few allies, and uh, two of them actually serve me, so they don't really matter. But this guy here is very strong, the Azai. And a Rokaku. Together they will be a formidable foe. Two more neighbors can be vassalized, though, so we'll go ahead and take these guys. A secret exposed. A shameful truth has reached the light of day. My vassal Kokujin Harakiu has copulated with his lover, Ume. Such things cannot be accepted outside of marriage, you fool of a man. Siddhartha will judge these sinners. Can I arrest him then? No, no I cannot. Despite him breaking the law, I cannot do it. Another secret exposed. My vassal Kokujin Harakiu has brought forward undeniable evidence that Chikaki was fathered by none other than him. Really? He bought this fort himself? I wonder, did Chikaki know about his true heritage? Oh, uh, seeing as he was just born, I, d I doubt this even crossed his mind. I don't think this kid worries about anything other than uh, suckling at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I wonder, did he know about his heritage? No. Uh, or is this uh, as much news to him as this to me? I don't think it's even news to him, honestly. Uh, will this revelation become a blessing or a curse? Who would have known? I, I, I just don't think that Chigusa Chikaki is, is really worried here. Excellent and excellent. Two more vassals have been gained. Uh, both along here, I believe, because we have gone all the way around this area. Of course, if vassals you are, go ahead and do just that. Greetings, my impressive liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in Nijou. It will be a grand affair, worthy of your honourable presence. Well, it will be my pleasure. Where are we going? We are going to this man's court all the way over here. I do wonder who will be there. A warm welcome. This uh, better be worth my time. Can we see who is exactly there? I'm sure it was you who... Oh, the feast is actually this guy all the way over here with a similar badge. So there's me. There's, uh, I assume, his wife. Nope, just some uh, random lowborn there. And him. Yes. Uh, declined the offer was his uh, his son. His son did not even turn up to his own feast. Do I have a potential wife for you? Perhaps just my uh, daughter. So we won't go through with that. 
Well, right, let's let's enjoy this feast, shall we? Greetings, my charming liege. I accept your gracious offer of vassalization. Well, come aboard. He's actually a bit further out than most other people. Excellent. I will. Uh, I will accept your your pledge of fealty. Mutual spirits. What started as an ordinary feast became an exceptional one thanks to the presence of Kukujin Sadatara. We spoke all evening about a manner of subjects, and as things would have it, we seem to have a lot in common. I had such a good time with him. Oh, terrific. He's a wise man, an administrator, and an architect. Oh, perhaps it's the architecture we have in common there. All over my new shirt, we could all tell that Kukujin Sadatara had too much to drink, even though he insisted on showing us how sober he was. Simply rising from his seat proved too much for him, and now I'm covered in his stinking vomit. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Sadatara. You ought to be ashamed, good man. Oh, we can vassalize another individual on the border there. Returning home, all good. What a feast. I will remember the day spent in Kukujin Sadatara's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off these traces of merriment and wine, the which is all over my shirt, and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Farewell, my gun bagyo. My gun bagyo. Well, sure. Uh, this man, another man in this sort of region over this way, has decided to join us. So we know, really, who around here is not going to be joining us. Now, there is this man on my border. I think we are going to go to war with him. Let's have a check at this faction. No, it's just still the same member. Okay, so I think we should be fine to go to war with this gentleman right here. So we're going to declare war for his duchy. It's going to be three provinces. So a lot of land there. They supposedly have so much strength. I don't see how. Two of your allies are sworn to me. They will not be joining. This man will, potentially. 1700. He's not that strong. He does have a, have a son. I could get him on my side and not have to fight him. But we'll manage anyway. We're going to go ahead and declare this war. It should be relatively easy to win, but there are no guarantees. I, uh... I could go ahead and hire a few more light footmen as... Well, not a few more, a, an actual few. Could even get some pikemen. A royal guard, if you will. 22 and 24. You guys have 25 and 10. Much more offensive. I think it'll be very... Also, pursuit. Nobody has pursuit. Light footmen do, so I might get these guys purely for their pursuit. They won't be used in this war. But in the wars to come, they'll be very, very useful. Let's go ahead and raise our army over this way. Raise all of the forces. So the Busho here. Oh, very good man here. Kukujin Kyoto Kyotsana. He is a grand warrior. And he's actually right there. So where was he rule? He's the ruler of this land all the way over here. He is a great, great warrior. I do wonder if he's a historical figure as well. I can call him my allies, I can call him my house members. I will not be doing anything like that. We'll just uh just looking over my options. Excellent. It'll take 15 days to get our forces together. Then we will march upon this man's force. He has gone off and so have they. But let's go over to his capital. Let's start besieging it. He is not in his capital. So, uh, let's have a look at the sieges. Oh, they actually can siege quite good themselves. Why? Okay, what we should do here. How many people do they require to siege this area? 750. So what we're going to do. So we're going to split off a new army. All of the mangonels with a thousand men. The rest of the army is going to go off and try to attack these gentlemen. That is a very negative crossing, however. Ecstatic peasantry! The peasants in the Kori of Otagi are in a good mood. The harvest is bountiful, the roads safe, and the village elders are telling non-central stories of cows producing honey-laden milk and geese laying golden eggs. The peasants are praising me for their fortune and have sent a Delegation carrying gifts. Sure. I will uh, accept these gracious gifts. Now let's go over here and see if we can avoid fighting. Davians. What, what's going to happen? Defending in hills, defensive buildings, more soldiers, better commander on their side. Do I have a better. Do I have a better commander at all? 21. He's slightly better. That's actually switched things there. Okay, well let's. Let's. Uh, can I select my army, please? That that would be terrific. Let's go ahead and choose uh, this man. 
that does not change it. Okay, what about... That's not, not why I clicked. Let's uh, check this guy instead. Yeah, he, he with the Forder trait, he's much better for this area. We'll try it. We'll try a bit of a battle and see how it goes. We start off with a lot of numerical advantage and a lot of uh, this advantage here. We also... Uh, yeah, th this is definitely going to be a victory for us. Glorious, we have defeated them. We killed 874, losing only 411. Our Boo Show doing very, very good. We captured their best warrior, Azai Hiro. Kuchijin uh, killed Zana of the Kita Ua. Did very well, killing 54. He slayed 54 of these untrained foes. Probably, we actually killed three of their guys personally. Um, Utsunomiya. 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 The same guy killed all three. Uh, Utsunomiya. I don't see him. Utsunomiya. I, I don't see the man that says they killed them. Or slain in battle by. Oh, it's Kiyotsuna. Okay, well, good for you. You slayed all three of them, you you wondrous man. Anyway, that'll do for this first episode. When you come back, we will... Uh, yeah, we'll continue trying to rally the Shogunates all under one banner. This is what we want. This is what we'll get. Thank you for watching. I hope you are going to enjoy this series. Remember to check out the playlist for future videos. And subscribe to the channel. If you enjoy this sort of content, well then the channel needs to be subscribed to, otherwise you will not get updates on future content. Thank you again for watching, I do greatly appreciate it. Goodbye.